Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And you read the title right. 500 NASA stacks at minute 14. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about NASA's, how to accumulate that many stacks in a game. You know, because I see a lot of people play NASA's, they're able to get like 100 stacks every four and a half, five minutes. I upped my game a little bit. I am getting 100 stacks every two, two minutes and 45 seconds, guys. So again, I'm going to teach you how to do that and all that. So do not worry. So in the beginning part of the video, I'm going to be teaching you how to build NASA's. If you want to skip to the gameplay immediately, timestamps in the description. So let's talk about how to build NASA's. Um, it's very simple, really. I have tried different builds and let me, yeah, let me just give you my thoughts. So let me just quickly put this one here. Trinity Force always as your first item. See, let me tell you guys a thing. There were, there were a few times where I was against a full attack damage enemy and I, I was like, you know what? Let's try Iceborne Gauntlet. So I bought Iceborne Gauntlet instead of the Trinity Force. Guys, never, ever, ever buy Iceborne Gauntlet instead of Trinity Force. This item sucks so badly on NASA. Let me tell you why. So you may think it's good for tankiness. I mean, no. Because the damage, like the damage that it takes away from you is beyond insane. Trinity Force gives you an insane amount of damage. And this item, Iceborne Gauntlet, it, it just, it feels like it gives you zero damage. Like I've tried it a few times, you know, because I was like, wait, there is no way it can be this bad, right? There is no way, but yes, there is a way. So don't go for Iceborne Gauntlet, start with uh, uh, Trinity Force. And of course start with your sheen what sheen is gonna do every time you use your first ability it's gonna deal an insane amount of damage this is gonna be your first major power spike before you get like before you get sheen you should never even touch an enemy champion you should not like you should genuinely not even touch an enemy champion because it's just not worth it, it even the enemy minions are gonna be out damaging you so only after you get a sheen that's where you can sort of kind of start a fight so after your sheen, you finish off the Trinity Force, and you can you can get this Trinity Force very early on in the game. I'll tell you more about that during the gameplay part, but I'm just telling you, you can get this very early, but it's not necessary. Let me tell you a thing. Accumulating stacks is more important than getting these power spikes on Nasus. Like, if you would lose, like, 20 stacks to go back and get the Trinity Force, do not do it. Unless you, of course, want to fight, but you generally don't want to fight in the early game with Nasus. But again, more on this later. So after your Trinity Force, Boots. There are really two boots that you go for, either plated steel caps or mercury threads. Go for the mercury threads if the enemies have a lot of stuns, charms, things like that. Like if they have an Ari or they have a Seraphim or they have a Galio, they have a, you know th champions like that that are gonna stun you and stop you. Get the mercury threads. It's insanely important to get it against a lot of uh, CC because you want to be able to run right through the enemies. So yes, if they do not have a lot of CC and if or if they have like a lot of attack damage. Choose plated steel caps instead. Let me tell you guys a thing real quick. I have tried boots of swiftness on uh, Nasus, but honestly, Mercury Sweats is just better. See, the thing is, this one gives you the 35% tenacity and also, you know, the magic resist. And it's just, it's just, it gives you more than the boots of speed. You don't really need speed that much on Nasus. And let me tell you why you don't need it. Because you go for glutinous, glutinous, Glory, it's called Glorious Enchant. You go for the Glorious Enchant. I actually always go for this one on Nasus. Um, I've seen some people go for Teleport on Nasus or like Gargoyle or even Proto Belt. Some even go for Stasis. Let me tell you guys. So, Teleport is not bad. I don't recommend it, but it's not bad because you can teleport to your team, of course. Gargoyle is not bad either if you want to play Nasus as a tank. See, See, Gargoyle could potentially be okay if you go for Iceborne Gauntlet. It's just like a whole different Nasus when you play Iceborne Gauntlet because you, you're you not going to be dealing any bonk damage anymore. Like, you, you're you're supposed to deal as a Nasus, right? Um, uh, let's go here quick. So, Glory, Glorious Enchant, this one is the best one. Whenever you use your ultimate, you use the Glorious Enchant and you chase down the enemies. Man, this one is an absolute game changer. And that's why I also get it as my second item in like 90% of the games. Get the glorious enchant, chase down the enemies, because at this point, you can pretty much 1v1 anyone. 
pretty much anyone except for champions like Darius, for example, right? Because Darius is like a 1v1 king. But when you go for the Glorious Enchant and you have Trinity Force and you have farmed up pretty well, you can 1v1 anyone. You can even 1v2 a lot of cha enemy champions. So that's my second item. I actually always go for Starwix Gauge just because it gives you a lot of health, a lot of bonus damage, and it gives you that lifeline. Really, really good on Nasus. Now, as your third, actually, let me tell you something real quick. If the enemy has a lot of ability power, or if they have some ability power and your team has like an enchanter support that can heal you up like Nami, Soraka, uh, Janna, you can go for Spirit Visage second item. And no, I am not trolling. This is legit. Let me tell you why. Because um, Nasus passive already heals him up. So Spirit Visage is going to increase that healing by 30%. Also, if you have an enchanter support, you're going to get even more healing. And if the enemy has a lot of ability power, you're going to get 45 magic resist, which is, of course, really, really good. But this is only in the in like in not, in like 10% of the games that you go for Spirit Visage. Otherwise, just go for Stark Sketch. As my third item, I generally go for Guardian Angel because it gives you the bonus damage, the bonus armor, and of course, the Guardian Angel. Um, you can choose to get the bramble fast if they have if they have a lot of healing like if the enemies have a lot of healing get the bramble fast as either your second or your third item whenever you feel like you need it i have also tried some fire ages on nasus but i don't like it you're you're much better off getting um, um actual tank items or actual damage items on nasus he doesn't really need the sunfire ages um so random is omen really good if the enemy has a lot of crit damage this one, where is it? Frozen Heart is really, really good if you want to reduce their attack speed. They buff this item, guys. Gives 70 armor, 20 ability haste, and it reduces 20% of uh, of the attack speed of the nearby enemies. And as a Nasus, you're going to be in the middle of the enemies at all times. So there are a lot of good items. Basically, you almost always start with Trinity Force, Starwix Gauge, and then here, as I said, it's all situational, really. Let me talk about another item before moving on. I do not like Death Dance. It's just, it's 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 not really good on Nasus because you're already super tanky. You do not really need to delay damage because you're Nasus anyways. You, you're tanky enough. So do not go for the death stance on Nasus. So about the runes, Grasp of the Undying is like, pretty much this is the only rune that you should really go for. Like the thing is, you can go for Conqueror, but it's just it's just not worth it on us because you already you, you you don't need it see the thing is that that's annoying about nas is the laning matchup and what grasp of the undying is going to allow you to do especially in the mid game after you've gotten like 100 stacks it's going to allow you to do an insane amount of damage to your enemy to poke them out with like one one first ability it's going to be useless in the early game because as i said you don't want to touch your enemy at all in the early game because you don't do any damage but like when you get that 100 stacks after like two uh, or sorry after like three minutes four minutes that's when this one starts to get useful. As my second rune, I go for Gathering Storm, just because, you know, in the late game, you're going to become an absolute powerhouse. You can also go for Brutal, just for the early game, but as I said, you don't really need it, because in the early game, you're going to be avoiding fights anyways. Triumph is also good. This one is actually really good on Nasus, because when you run the enemies down and you keep hitting them with the first ability, keep going with the fight, with your ultimate, when enemies get taken down, you're going to restore a lot of health. So this one is actually also really good. So if you want more damage, get Gathering Storm. If you want more survivability, get the Triumph. As my, as my third rune, I generally run Hunter Titan because it gives you the tenacity, right? See, you could potentially run, where is it? Uh, conditioning. But it's a bit risky, I would say. It's like you're not going to get anything from it in the early game, but it's going to be incredibly powerful in the late game. You could go for it. It's actually really good on Nasus, but if you go for conditioning, you really have to play it safe in the early game. Like, really, really safe. As your fourth rune, Sweet Tooth, because Sweet Tooth is broken. So, uh, for your spells, you go for Flash and Barrier. You can also go for uh, Ghost. But I don't go for it. Why? Of course, because I already get Glutinous. No, not Glutinous. Because I already get uh, Glorious Enchant. I do not know why I have... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can go for... You could go for Glutinous Greaves. Oh, I forgot about these boots. If you feel like the enemy won't have a lot of anti-healing, like if you feel like your matchup is not going to have a lot of anti-healing, Glutinous Gifts could be good. But I don't really recommend it because you're much better off getting any defensive boots, but but you could go for it if you want the extra lifesteal. So enough about this now, let's get into the gameplay. All right, on to the gameplay. And guys, look at this skin, by the way. But I want to ask you guys a question. Have you ever seen someone get like 500 stacks on Nasus at at minute 14 or have you ever gotten that many stacks 
And you know what? If you remember, let me know in the comments what your record is of getting stacks. My record personally is getting like 700 stacks or something. And but this game was so crazy. You like if you watch this video, you will really, really learn how to play NASA. So let, let me immediately get into the game. As you can see right now, Vukong was pinging me to get the red buff. I was pinging, then I'm staying in my lane. Why? Because I'm Nasus. So as a Nasus, you don't want to help your jungler. Look at this. This is what you want to do. Boo. First ability, minion. As you can see, you're going to be taking damage. And this is this is, this is is how early game Nasus works. You're trying to get as many minions with your first ability while taking as little damage as possible. Here, look at this. I tried to trade with him with my first ability there and it didn't really go too well for me. It was completely useless for me to do. And here you can see, I'm, I'm, like, I'm getting wrecked. And this is this is Nasus, guys. This is not like you really cannot avoid this. Um, of course, you can avoid it by letting the minions die. But of course, you have to decide for yourself. Okay, is it worth for me to take damage right now for the stacks of the minion? So here, it's not worth it for me. So what I did instead is I used my third ability. But now, oh, look at this. See, I went for a minion. And this was a bad call. I should not have gone for that minion. I should have just let it die because um, it's not really worth it if the Gragas chunks me down like 20% of my HP just for one minion. It's not worth it. And here you can see, I, like I'm just playing terribly here. But this is terrible play from Nasus. And at this point, I'm really vulnerable to ganks. So here, this is what you want to do. You want to stay back and hit the minions. And if you can, the enemy champion with your third ability as well. But let's take a look at this situation right now. I'm really trying desperately to farm and Xin Shao's here, I go out immediately. Let me tell you why I did not backport earlier. The reason for that is because they have a Xin Shao. If the enemy had a jungler like Lee Sin, I would have already backed off immediately. And the reason for that is because Lee Sin can catch me even though I flash away. So you have to look at the enemy composition when you play Nasus, especially when you want to draft Nasus. I saw that the enemy has Xin Shao and I was like, you know what, Xin Shao is not really like a super burst heavy champion in the early game, so I should be okay in my lane. If they pick a Lee Sin, don't pick Nasus. I mean, you can, but Lee Sin is going to absolutely demolish you when you play Nasus, guys, so keep that in mind. Um, so here you can see me just trying to stay behind my turret and... I'm just trying to get as many minions as possible. And here, again, like, I was trying to trade with him, but you can see, you don't trade with Nasus in the early game. Uh, I mean, you don't you don't want to trade as a Nasus in the early game. All you want to do is farm up. And you don't push the lane, just like I'm doing right now. You just last hit the minions, like boom, 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 with your first ability. So we're at minute three, and I only have 44 stacks. And you may think like, wait, how are you going to get 500 stacks at minute um, 14? Oh, let's take a look at this fight. Eee! So close. Oh, he flashed away. Oh my god, I slowed him. I have no energy right now though. I really need to go back at my healing. So of course, Nasus with us, when you get level 5 on Nasus, it's your first major power spike. It's an absolute huge power spike oh let's take a look at this what's happening ah this is too close basic attack first ability and bonk you are dead man so right now you don't want to uh just freeze the lane you want to push it as fast as possible even though it's going to cost me some stacks and the reason for that is because um, um i want to make the gragas lose farm so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back. I'm not going to attack the turret because I have no energy. I'm low. Gragas might be back. Even though you may think, yeah, you should attack the turret. Gragas might rotate the dragon. No. Go back. Buy your items. And don't rotate to the dragon. I'm going to repeat. Do not rotate to the dragon. In 95% of your games, you do not rotate to the dragon when you play Nasus. So here I'm paying my team, you know guys, I'm not coming, I'm not gonna help you. Why you may think, just take a look at how many stacks I have on my first ability guys. 76. Do you really think that you can carry a team fight on Nasus with 76 stacks? Of course you cannot. So what you should do instead is push turrets. If, like, if you didn't know already, Nasus is one of the fastest turret pushers in the game. Take a look at this. We're at minute 5, and look at how fast I'm already taking the turret. This is Nasus for you guys. So play your champion to his powers. What are Nasus's powers? 
not early game early game is a weakness of him of his but in the early game he can push towers so right now i am like what 2000 gold ahead of the gragas just because of me pushing this lane and i got a lot of stacks my team even got the dragon which is actually oh, what was that which is actually insane how the hell did my team get the dragon so you can see all i am doing is farming farming and farming and what I'm doing right now is I'm taking their jungle, but keep in mind, taking the enemy jungle is not very efficient for Nasus. Um, uh, I mean, taking like these big jungle camps. What's more efficient is to take the small jungle camps. You know, the wolves, the, 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 like if there is a lot of small camps, it's more efficient because what you can do, of course, is last hit every single one of them with your first ability to accumulate a lot of stacks. But here it's still okay because I was able to steal out a lot of gold and experience from the Zen Xiao. Like I'm almost level 9 already, which is really, really nice. So right now I can get Trinity Force, but yeah, I don't want to lose stacks because I know that the Gragas is going to push my lane. And here it should be a free kill because Gragas is just overextending. So as I said, I'm not going to go back. I'm not even using my ult because it's unnecessary to use my ultimate. But I actually wasn't able to kill him because he still had his flash. I still think it was okay to not use my ultimate there. It was just not worth it for the Gragas. So here, I really don't want to fight. But my team is winning the team fight. But um, the reason that I don't want to fight is because I have 3000 gold in my pocket. <laughs> so here, I'm going to help them real quick with the Rift Herald. But... but Yet again, as an early game Nasus, you don't want to stay for too long at these objectives or team fights. Go to your lane and farm. This is what you do. So here I see the Gragas again. And now I'm like, you know what? He's overextended. I am going to kill this dude. So here I just like literally flash on him. Unfortunately, he takes my kill. It's okay though. Oh, let's talk about these minions, guys. This is like the... This is like the golden treasure for Nasus right here. This is the... Like, here you're gonna get the freest stacks in your life. All you gotta do is just last hit the minions with your first ability. And they're gonna make more and more enemies. More and more and more. So let me explain you another thing. The early game is gonna be the slowest uh, uh, that you're gonna be getting stacks. Because the cooldown of your first ability is gonna be the longest. Because you're gonna have to upgrade it, of course. And in the late game, you're going to get your stacks the fastest. So um, in the late game, you're going to have a lower cooldown of your first ability. But also, a thing that's very important is after 12 minutes, the waves are going to have two cannon minions. And a cannon minion gives you eight stacks. And you can easily just boom, 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 keep killing those cannon minions and get eight stacks out of them instead of the four stacks that you normally get. So here, like... Nasus really before like before 10 minutes of the game you just don't want to fight as a Nasus. all you want to do is farm and that's the only way that you're going to be able to get 500 stacks at like minute 14 so i want to tell you that if you are able to get 300 stacks at minute at minute 15 as a starter Nasus you're you're okay like you you know you're doing a good job so when you're starting to play Nasus, i really want you to pay attention to how many stacks you're able to ac accumulate so as i said you're okay at Nasus if you can get 300 stacks at minute 15 you are pretty good at Nasus if you can get 350 stacks you are incredibly good if you can get 400 stacks like like if you can get 400 stacks at minute 15 you're incredibly good let's take a look at this so they're trying to fight me and this is what happens when you're able to get 200 nasa stacks at minute eight they cannot fight me so the zinsha was waiting in this bush and i was like yeah let's just kill the zinsha boom this is nasa's for you guys so even though nasa's is incredibly weak in the lane Nasus really has his powers guys and if you play Nasus to his powers I have many Nasus videos on my YouTube channel by the way if you haven't watched them yet make sure you watch them like in those in those other Nasus videos I give some basic tips as well and some more advanced tips if you are already decent at Nasus but basically Nasus turret pushing farming in the early game getting as many stacks as possible when you have like 250 stacks you fight but still, whenever you can, get stacks. Keep getting stacks. Whenever you see minions, boom, get the stack. Whenever you walk through the enemy jungle, boom, get the stacks. Keep farming up. Just like I'm doing in this game right now, I keep 
farming up and i have 250 stacks at minute 10 so in the next four minutes i'm gonna be getting 250 more stacks can you believe that so really really pay attention to how i am gonna do that here i actually screw up at this minion take a look at this so the reason that i screwed up here is because i already procced my sheen with my third ability so my first ability didn't actually proc the bonus damage from the sheen <laughs> Yeah, here, like, I'm just beyond strong right now. Look at how much gold I have. I have 10k gold. And that's all because of how much farm I took. So here in the lane, yet again, like, you really want to look up lanes where you can get stacks. Like, here you saw I didn't go to the bot lane, which is my normal lane. Instead, I just went to the top lane. All I'm doing is boom, boom, boom. I keep getting the stacks, and I'm almost at 300 stacks already. And we're at minute 11. Like, if you're able to, to get this many stacks on Nasus, like, if you're able to get 500 stacks of Nasus at minute 14 or 15, like, you're pretty much the best that, that a Nasus player can get. You, it really doesn't get any better than that. I mean, you could get... Ah, what is that sound? I don't know what that sounds, but you could potentially get 550 stacks on minute 14, but you'd have to play absolutely perfectly and not even die once. So, as I said, the pinnacle of Nasus is getting 500 stacks at minute 15. I got it at minute, like, at uh, before minute 15, but if you're at 15.00 and you're able to get 500 stacks, that's the pinnacle of Nasus. So, what can the Xin Shao do here, guys? Just tell me, what can he do against me? And, like... Enemies just can't do anything against you when you're this strong. When you have like a lot of stacks at only at like minute 11 in the game, you, you know, I have 350 stacks, you're gonna be unbeatable. You're gonna be absolutely unbeatable. And it's gonna take like three enemies to kill you, maybe even four. <laughs> so, um, um, Nasus is really different from any other champion. You, uh, I, I keep repeating it because I see so many Nasus players. Well, no, the, the problem is I never see people play Nasus. But when I do see people play Nasus, they play him the wrong way. They rotate to Dragon and they try to help their team. No, as a Nasus, you don't give a sh you, you, you don't care about your team. You don't care about your team. Screw your team. Like, screw your team. Who's your team? You are a one, 1v9 absolute cannon. It's only you versus the enemies. Your teammates are just like, 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 like little, 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 what? Little puppets walking behind you, you know, just finishing up the fight while you are like the big strong guy killing all the enemies one versus nine. That's what Nasus is, guys. And here you can see I have 400 stacks at minute 13. And what am I going to do now, of course? Stack up even more. And at this point, I can one-shot the small minions. So just look at the way that I'm stacking up. I'm just one-shotting the small minions and here, boom. Just keep getting stacks. I have 3,000 gold, so I don't really want to fight. Even though I'm super strong, I just want to farm up. I just want to get my stacks. And when I'm at like 500 stacks, I'm absolutely unbeatable. I mean, I'm unbeatable already right now. But I was just kind of having fun at this point. I was just, I just wanted to get even more stacks. When you're at this point of playing Nasus, you're already unbeatable. Like right now, I could buy items and absolutely 1 versus 9 this game. But I was like, you know what? Let's farm even more, because why not? <laughs> it was just fun. So here I was fighting, even though I had 4k gold in my pocket. Just look at this. I have 4,000 gold in my pocket. Look at the damage, what? Look at the damage, man. It's funny because I have 5,000 gold in my pocket, yet I'm still dealing this much damage. If I buy items, I'm going to pretty much one-shot the enemies with my first ability. I'm probably going to be dealing like 60 or 70% of their HP with my first ability. Just look at this, like, look at this. How disgusting is this, guys? How disgusting is this? <laughs> Here I'm farming up even more. I'm just like, yeah, screw it. I just want to farm, man. 480 stacks. We're only at 14 minutes and 20. 484 stacks. 488 stacks. Look at this, man. They surrendered and I got 496 pretty much 500 stacks at 14 minutes and 30 seconds into the game so this is like the perfect nasus game that i had here this is really what you should try to achieve 
every single game as an assist. I know it's not going to work every game. I know you're going to get ganked in a few games, but you can still get a lot of stacks on Nasus. So you can see I didn't even deal that much damage. I was just basically like an absolute powerhouse and the enemies had zero chance to win the late game. Whoa, my, why is my camera quality so bad? Wow. Wait. It looks way better here. Huh? What? Is it just me or does this one look... Oh, no. Okay, whatever. So, thank you guys very much for watching. And yeah, I will see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye-bye.